I like to call it nymphing. I don't know why. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today's video is all about nymphing. Now, this isn't a comprehensive video. You're not gonna learn everything you need to know about nymphing. Just a few tidbits that I pulled out that I wanna share with you. But before we jump in, I gotta do the thing and tell you about hugeflyfisherman.com where you can get all kinds of huge fly fisherman stuff. Also, my other channel at special.tv where you can get video stuff that you can't get here at YouTube. So, we all know that nymphing is the lamest way to catch fish with a fly rod, but it also works really well. So it pays to learn how to do it effectively. I've got a bunch of different tips for you, so let's dive in. The first tip is to set the hook in the direction of the drift. That's usually downstream, but not always. If you set the hook in the direction of the drift, you'll pull the flies right into the fish's mouth. If you set the other way, you'll yank those flies right out of their mouth and all of your friends will laugh at you. If the flies in bobber are way downstream from you, things can get a little weird, so just do your best and try not to suck at fly fishing. Next tip for nymphing is to learn different nymphing rig setups. There are lots of different kinds. Inline rigs, bounce rigs, 90 degree rigs. You can use a swivel. Tippet rings are for losers. My favorite nymphing rig is the high-low rig. Look it up. It works great with a pyramid sinker. Different nymphing rig setups will work better in certain situations. Learn the rigs, learn to adapt, and you'll be more successful. At fishing, I mean, not life. Okay, next tip. When you start fishing a nice hole, don't just go for the meat. Work your way out there. In this age of instant gratification, sometimes we need to slow down a little bit. Start fishing close to shore in shallow water, then work your way out to that sweet spot. I see lots of folks standing where they should be fishing. Yeah, I'm guilty of that too sometimes. Next tip is watch this video about different types of bobbers by my friend James from About Trout. And like he says, just fish better. The next nymphing tip is to make lots and lots of drifts. Just keep doing it over and over. I can't tell you how many times I've made that same drift over and over and they'll eat it on like the 21st drift. Why do they do that? 21 is the magic number though. If you go for 22 drifts, you're just wasting your time. Move six inches upstream and start over. The next nymphing tip is one that you might be aware of and that's to fish multiple flies. I did the math and more flies in the water equals more chance chances that you'll catch a fish. One fly is okay, but two flies is better. Three flies and you're just trying too hard. All right, I got one more nymphing tip for you and then I'll let you get back to watching SpongeBob. The next nymphing tip is to constantly adjust your setup. By that, I mean adjust your weight and depth. There's an old saying, the difference between not catching fish and catching fish is one split shot. So mix it up. If you're moving up a hole from the shallow tail out up to the bucket, you might need to add some more weight and or move your bobber up your leader so your flies will get deeper. Deeper is generally better. And if changing your setup doesn't work, maybe you need to adjust your attitude. You've been kind of a jerk lately. So there you go, that's gonna wrap it up for this huge fly fisherman video. I hope you learned something, or if you have a tip that I didn't mention, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video for you. Until then, Euro nymphing is super dorky and stay huge. In case you didn't know, I invented fly fishing and I know everything there is to know about it.